How's it going gamers, Merciless Vaughn back with another Bleach Brave Souls Showcase video. And in this one, we're going to be showcasing the end of month November units, Okira the Hidden version. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please leave a like. If you are new to the channel or you have been here for a while, please consider subscribing and help me get to 150 subscribers. I'm currently only three away. And without wasting any more time, let's just go ahead and get started. He's just looking at him. He is in a ranker with the Espada affiliation. He has the Aranker Killer. His soul trait is strong attack, recharge time minus 12%. I have the one copy and his SP is at level 10. Taking a look at his attacks and skills. He is a melee SP unit with weakening on all of his abilities. His innate skills are Havoc 20%, Guard Break, Team Slash Party Stamina Recovery 20%. As for his skills, he has a 40% Berserker. His Devastation is 40%. Do strong attack cooldown 12%. He is T20. I gave him full stamina damage boost for one bonus. He has the increased super heart link slot potions plus 5, increased heart link slot potions plus 5, and increased heart droplet 30%. So he is a great farmer for the mind attribute. You can use him in IT and epic raids, and he's really great. Frenzy plus 1, defibrillator plus 5 seconds, increased that element chance against heart attribute enemies. Team slash party increased mine attribute ranker damage to status element affected enemies 40%. Uh, he has T20 for a second bonus ability. I gave him weakened defense because I do use him in epic raids and sprinter plus one. So overall on paper, this character is really good. He definitely helps out with the team when it comes to a rankers with this skill right here and he also heals the party as well since he has an increased heart droplet about 30 percent you can use him in epic raids to get those extra droplets as well and since he has the skill increased as a so much chance against heart attribute enemies he will work well in any it you put him in the one up right now is currently a ranker so he does have the ranker killer so he will work really well in this one and as for the accessories I'm going to be using in this showcase are going to be the classic teacup, fortification pill, hunting cap, and the links are as shown. And with the bonus abilities, full stamina damage boost, and we can defense. So we're going to take this character into IZ and IT to see what he can do. Alright, so here we are in an inheritance zone. And just taking a look at his net string. Nothing major since he is an SP unit. But going over strong attack, his SA1. I forgot to mention that there are Aranker and Hollow enemies here. He will only have killer against the Aranker enemies. Here's his SA2. And his SA3 is a standard full screen. Now the one thing I like about this unit is his SA2 is the same as the Thousand Year Blood War 2022 version of Ichigo's, which is just a giant, it's not the cross attack, like the 7th anniversary Ichigo is just an entire width attack that has a pretty good amount of range to it. He's doing some really good damage, there goes that increased status element chance against hard attribute enemies. And when the enemies are inflicted with that status element, he will be doing 40% more damage. And since he has weakening, which just weakens the enemies, is just a lot of damage he's going to be doing to those enemies inflicted with a status element. So yeah, this is a really good unit. Um, I don't have the swimsuit Neliel, so me pulling this unit will really help me out farm this potion. And here's a soul bomb. Alright, so here we are in Harrison's trial. It is a ranker enemy this time around, so he will have killer. There goes that increased that is so much chance against heart attribute enemies. He doesn't have hit hidden enemies and he also is not immune to any status elements, so you have to be careful of these freeze pools. But besides all that, yeah, he's a pretty solid unit. I have no complaints really. 
I kind of figured that that nail yell was going to get replaced sooner or later, but I didn't think she was going to get replaced that fast. I mean, in my opinion, yeah, he probably is the better unit just because he can do more. But I really can't say for sure because I don't have her. So I can't. I can't really speak gameplay wise, but just on paper, yeah, he's just better in my opinion. I forgot to mention that I did not activate any of the boosts. So this is just his raw damage without those boosts. I'll do another IT run with the boost to see if we can clear faster. There goes that recover stamina. So he has some pretty decent healing going on. If he just so happens to take damage, switch to another stage, you can heal, try to get that full stamina damage boost back. And that's for his soul bomb again. Alright, so here we are back in another IT to see if we can clear a lot faster. Now, one thing I forgot to do, I forgot to put on a Zeta pill to hit the enemies that are hiding, so the run might not be as fast as I wanted it to be. But we'll still try and clear as fast as we can. Now me, personally, I really, really like units with an increased SMA chance against the enemies that they have an advantage against. Just because, I don't know, I just really like that skill. To me, those units will last a lot longer. Like, for instance, the 7th anniversary Ichigo, he doesn't have that skill. He's still a great unit, by the way. I'm not saying that he's not, but just this old character will really age well since he has that increased status on the chance against hard attribute enemies. Just like the Lisa. And with the Lisa, she has the status spiritual pressure boost. So, yeah. Units like her and this old character will really great age well. Especially since old character is a super pot unit. And he has an increased droplet chance of 30%. So, units like these aren't going any, aren't going to go away anytime soon. They're going to be really great. And since this old Kira is a premium unit, you will eventually 5-5 him if you just summon the BBS tickets. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this showcase video. I know it was kind of short, but overall, just know that this unit is really good as well. Team slash party, stamina recovery 20%. He's a super link slot potion unit and a regular potion unit and increased droplets, so he's great in epic raids. Increased status selma chance against heart attribute enemies. Increased mind attribute or ranker damage status selma affected enemies 40%. Yeah, he's just a really good unit. He will definitely help you farm the resources you need. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. And as usual, until next time.